I'm with my buddy Jim, and we are riding out there and high hopes. Here's a quick little shot of my bike with different colored lowers. I know, I know. I can't stop. Upgrade-itis. Not even an upgrade. Frivolous purchase-itis. <laughs> if that's a term. I like it though. I think it goes more with the theme of the bike rather than the orange lowers. You good? Let's get it, buddy. Okay, I won't bore you with the whole trail because I've filmed this one a couple times and we're out here because it's August long weekend and the bike park is a gong show. Oh, that was a bad line. So I'll just do the highlights. So I'll keep the camera rolling and we'll just show the fun parts. Jim and I might stop and do some different camera angles too. We'll see. Just having some fun outside the bike park, dodging the lines. A little tech bit of climbing here. Yes, got it. Got it, William. You got it, Jimbo. Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, pedal. Paddle! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh. Nice work, Jim. Already accomplished day. Yep, Making that corner, man. That corner's hard. I get excited every time I make it. Here we go. Tried the inside there, that didn't work very well. Not a lot of support in those corners. These ones are good. You got it, bud. Atta boy, Jimbo. Oh yeah, what's the line on this one? <laughs> That's like a foot deep. Okay, let's see if we make this one. Make the two tech bits in one ride. I really struggle with this corner right here. Oh, go, go. Oh, dab. Just a little dab. Not clean, but not bad. Gonna try and ride a different, bit of a different line on this big roll on it out there. Most people get sucked down to the right because it's kind of off camber. And that's the way it pulls you. But it looks way smoother to the left here. But I gotta commit to the off camber bit over here. Yes, it worked. Coming. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, 
Oh, wow. This has a mother of all holes. In front. This about fell. Wow. Some big holes there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> wow, it saved it. Shady needs a new bike next year. I'm trying to figure out what to get him. Thinking the Capra Uncaged 10, maybe. Seems like good value. Unless anybody else has any suggestions. And I also am gonna turn an e-cargo bike into downhill bike transportation machine. <laughs> and I will explain more in future videos. We're gonna buy one and we're gonna mod it so that I can park my truck and get a bunch of bikes with me and two or three people to the park. I mean, I can ride my downhill bike to the park, but it's no fun. Okay, on to High Hope. We'll see you there. Okay, right. you ready? There's this gully and then just ahead there's that little rock with a drop. There's a rock that's like a flat landing drop. Oh yeah? Right side is bigger, left side's smaller. This is High Hopes. And again, I'll try and just do the highlights for you. Oh, here's the drop. Oh, flat. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and just do the highlights. But I think there's a few minutes like this. It's cool, super steep and loose. Like so loose. So I think we come out to a cut block here and it zigs and zags for a bit. It's beautiful. Yeah, I've been on this trail one time and I remember there being some moves like nothing crazy but yeah Jimbo Ooh. That was a good one. All right, what do we got? Lots of pushing on this trail. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool, lots of little moves. Oh, that's a cool section. Oh boy. That was janky. Oh, I see. I think there's a move to the right. Oh. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah. That was a big push. Oh yeah. Now that guy. That was cool. That's the free fall Jim was talking about. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Please consider subscribing. Be much appreciated. We'll see you in the next one.